for service here in Coeur d'Alene at 1.30 in the morning. And so Sergeant Moore had dispatched himself to this neighborhood, not far from where he lives, to see if he couldn't scare up a car prowler who had been working the area lately. When he pulled in here this morning to Sunrise Meadows Estates, he spotted a man rambling around on foot, dressed in black from head to toe. It's an upscale neighborhood on Coeur d'Alene's north side. People with nice homes have nice things to steal, and police recently noticed an increase in late night car prowlings here. He was out doing what policemen do. He was out doing routine random patrols, but also in an area that we have experienced some auto burglaries in. That's when Sergeant Moore spotted a man here at Timberlake and Wilbur lurking in the darkness and called police dispatchers with the sergeant's location. Sergeant Moore uh, checked out with us suspicious individual uh, in the Coeur d'Alene Place neighborhood and uh, actually ran his name through our dispatch center and then uh, didn't get any, there was no further contact uh, from him. And that's when Jonathan Renfro allegedly shot Moore. Dispatchers didn't even know the veteran officer was in trouble until a neighbor who heard the gunfire called 911. My understanding is there was a citizen that did uh, call, I don't know if it was 911 or what, uh, saying that they heard a shot and they did see a person laying in the road. The caller also told dispatchers someone had sped away in Moore's police car. By the time the sergeant's backup arrived, the suspect was gone. Our office, ISP, uh, and the Coeur d'Alene Police Department all responded in a whole bunch of different areas. I know uh, Post Falls picked up the stolen police car uh, after the, the individual stole it. It happened just, uh, you know, within 100 meters of my at my window, so unfortunately didn't hear it. Like the majority of nearby residents, John Whiney didn't know what had happened until they woke up to a street filled with police cars. Whiney is now kicking himself for not knowing Moore was gravely wounded and could have used some help. Sergeant Moore, is that his name? Um, was fortunately here to protect our belongings. You know, I would, I would gladly give that suspect my car, anything I had, if it would uh, take back. Um, his need to, to shoot Sergeant Moore. Nadine tonight, Sergeant Moore is still in very critical condition. He is surrounded by his friends and family at Kootenai Health. Mm -hmm. Now, Jeff, the suspect, this Renfro, he made a court appearance uh, late this afternoon. What happened? Well, there were an awful lot of charges that I didn't anticipate. On the top of it is attempted first-degree murder, but then there's grand theft for allegedly stealing the officer's handgun from his body, grand theft for allegedly stealing the officer's patrol car. And the court also found that if he's convicted these charges, it would amount to Renfro being a habitual offender. And here in North Idaho, there's another 15-year sentence that you can get for that. Out the door, it looks like Renfro, if convicted of just half these charges, could easily stay in prison for the rest of his life. Tonight, his bond is set at $2 million. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Mm -hmm.